so welcome back to the last session of this lecture so previously in the last two sections of this lecture we have discussed about some introduction of electromagnetic waves and then we talked about some benefit what are the benefits of electromagnetic wave so in this section we are going to discuss what are the various hazards what is the danger from the electromagnetic waves so let's discuss the few aspects so uh, these are the science em science actually so these are two type of science one is here and second one is here so i have told you uh, there are two type of radiations if you will see here so from uh, starting from the visible light and uh, few from ultraviolet rate that is the ionizing radiation and before it that is considered as the non ionizing non ionizing radiations so this sign is considered for the non ionizing radiations and this is referring for the ionizing radiation so this is more 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 dangerous and this is also dangerous so if uh, you are observing such signs means it's a triangle and wi-fi like a sign is there so we should not enter uh, in such type of rooms uh, without having proper precautions and uh, these signs are also dangerous we should not go there if we are having we are observing some sign uh, so we should not enter in that areas so uh, we have discussed uh, about the ionizing radiations and the non ionizing radiation parts so uh, in this section we are going to discuss what are the uh, dangerous things related to these electromagnetic fields so uh, first discuss about the ionizing radiation so it consists ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays these are very very dangerous if uh, the exposure of these wave is larger means uh, we cannot apply these uh, waves directly to the human beings means it is very very dangerous means it can also change the dna structures so you can estimate what is the danger from such type of waves so we are using such type of waves in majorly in medical science and the amount uh, for which it should be applied uh, it is uh, defined by the experts so in this lecture we will majorly discuss the effects and hazards uh, created from these non ionizing radiations and majorly this is the section in which we are dealing with in daily life we are dealing with the mobile phones mobile towers microwave frequencies so we will talk about this one so you can see it is a, a such type of wave also having a very very large frequency if i am talking about uh, the wi-fi it is working in 2.5 gigahertz gigahertz is something like 10 to the power 9 10 to the power 9 is so 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 big means you can estimate what is the cycle ratio means within a one second one into 10 to the power 9 means uh, if i'm talking about the wi-fi uh, so 2.5 into 10 to the power 9 cycles have been completed within a second so you can estimate this is very very high frequency although it is lower than in comparison to gamma rays and x-rays who are having the frequencies in range of 10 to the power 22 but it is also harmful so how it is harmful let's see uh, so you can see here several of frequencies radio wave and microwave frequencies several things which we are using in our daily life fm radio tv cell phones wi-fi microwaves and several things we are using daily and uh, if we are talking about the lower frequency signals then electricity and your wireless uh, your electricity code are also releasing a uh, few frequencies but the frequency is minimum lower frequencies they are creating means uh, if we are comparing it with the microwave frequencies these signals radiated from these frequencies are less dangerous so let's uh, discuss what are the danger from these so uh, these are several things uh, which are related 5g we are using wi-fi we are using so how it is being dangerous for us so let us discuss 
So this figure we have talked in previous in our home, we are using several type of uh, gadgets, several type of home appliances are there. And uh, the amount of EMF, electromagnetic field is very, very high in our home. So here we, we have seen door control is there, security is there, motion sensor is there, environmental monitoring device is there, remote control is there, TV setup is there. So lots of things are there. So if we will talk about in terms of EMF, EMF is electromagnetic field. How much amount of EMF is available in our home? So the condition is like this. All the things are radiating signals. And you can see lots of signals are there. Means you are observing this field. This is a lower type of frequency, means wavelength is larger such type of signals, frequencies, high, high frequency signals, low frequency signals, moderate frequency signals, all type of signals are there. So this is the condition of our living space, of our home, of our bedroom, of our living room. So what are the effects, how it affects our tissues, how it affects our health. So we are going to discuss in this lecture. So these are the major source. If we talk in India, we use AMFM tower who works on by this frequency. Uh, if we talk about the power, the power is this and approximately number of towers in India is like this. TV towers are also there. The related frequency is there related what which is being radiated or which is being used is here. Wi-Fi frequency is about 2.45 gigahertz power is mentioned here number of wi-fi is there so there is no number cell towers is also there so we are having 2g 3g 4g cell towers now we are planning for the 5g also and how much power it is using and number of towers is also mentioned and mobile phones number of mobile phones is there so gsm cdma this is the old data this is this data is related to the i think up to 2014 so uh, now the number also has been increased so 919 plus million number of mobile phones we are using and smartphones smartphones are more dangerous because single phone single device is in built is having a number of applications like wi-fi is there gps is there bluetooth is there 2g is there 3g is there 4g is there 5g enabled so lots of frequencies are there so it is a more dangerous thing so let's discuss how it is dangerous so these are the frequency range which is being used for the CDMA, GSM. Uh, GSM means 2G uh, was there. So we use the two bands, 900 band and uh, 1800 band uh, and 3G, 4G, 5G. 5G is proposed for the sub 6 gigahertz band and uh, that is 30 gigahertz band is also related. 26 gigahertz band is uh, being used for the 5G. 30 gigahertz plus means 30 into 10 to the power 9 hertz means if you will think about the number of cycles so within one second suppose if this is a one second time period 30 into 10 to the power 9 cycles will be there so you can imagine how much higher frequency is it so you can see what is 5g frequency proposed 5g frequency so let's start this experiment is known to all of us we in our childhood all of us have done this experiment so i want to realize the power of radiation you can see light is a em wave light is a em wave so light is coming here like this we have talked in first section of this lecture uh, in which you can see e field and h field are orthogonal to each other and propagating here so in this figure you can see if we are using a magnifier and magnifier is concentrating the sunlight you can see the fire on paper that is the power of em wave how much power it is containing within itself so same thing is happening with the em field which uh, with which we are dealing with uh, your mobile phone because you are using mobile phone near to this and that is a source means uh, take the example 
of this magnifier it is concentrating the power so it is like a source means uh, here all power is concentrated now if we talk about our mobile phone all the power is concentrated near to our mobile phone so what should uh, be the effect that is very dangerous so let's discuss what is the effects of mobile phones uh, em fields on the mobile body uh, on the human body so we are going to discuss this thing and uh, these are the tower this is a major problem in india so we are not having any control number of towers is there number of towers is there i don't know uh, how much uh, regulatory different i'm very sad to said this uh, how much regulatories are allowing them to establish this tower in the residential areas also means if you will see around in delhi if we will talk about the delhi only so you can see number of towers are there in the residential area people are also offering the companies to uh, set up a tower on their roof on their residential roof so i don't know how they are getting permits and uh, how the things is happening so major things are not in our hand it is uh, various uh, things are concerned over there but in this lecture uh, we will discuss at our end what can we do what we can do uh, how we can avoid such type of radiations so first of all let's see what is the effect how it affects our human body how it uh, how it is affecting our body uh, how it is affecting our health so first in first section we will see this and then i will suggest some way uh, how we can avoid some part of emf we cannot avoid full emf but we can uh, suppress that amount so let's start so these are some effects these are some illness which can occur so you can see here brain tumor and cancer i will show you how uh, how it occurs due to the mobile phone using mobile phone alzheimer's is there infertility is there eyesight loss this is the common loss hearing loss this is the common loss all of us are known eyesight loss and hearing loss will be definitely be there if we are using continuously the mobile phone and if you are uh, in the em field then these major illness or diseases can occur alzheimer's infertility brain tumor cancer memory loss muscle pain depression dizziness nausea headache insomnia irritation miscarriage these are the very dangerous issues and i will show you how it is affecting our health how it is affecting our body so let's see around some uh, data so this is the thermographic image of a 5 year old child this is a 10 year old child and this is the adult so the skull thickness of adult is like 2 mm skull thickness of 10 year old child is about 1 1 mm and it is about 0.5 mm for a 5 year old child so you can see the absorption part the power absorbed power absorbed by adult is lesser means if we will talk about the absorption rate so that is 2.93 watt per kg watt per kg tissues so it is for the adult if we will see the data for the 10 year old child so it is the absorption rate is higher 3.21 watt per kg and you can see what is the radiation effect and if you will talk about the 5 year old child so the power amount is very very high it is just double it is about double to the adult that is about 4.49 watt per kg and you can see what is the absorption area means the whole area is absorbing the power because they are growing tissues they are growing tissues they are very soft tissues and this is the data of 5 year old because the research not allowed the uh, lower age childs but many par parents what we are doing many parents are offering the mobiles to their infants also even one month two months childs are using these phones these are very dangerous situations 
so you can see here that is the thermographic image so this image before using so this man have not used any mobile phone that is the thermographic image but after using the 15 minute you can see the thermographic image so that is the redness the redness is showing how much amount of power is being absorbed by its tissues means this amount of power has been absorbed by the tissues and the heat heat and the temperature of the tissues is increased over there so that is the effect and it is effect of only 15 minutes of using mobile phone so you can see and what happened to the child so let's see if a man is talking on the mobile phone you can see the redness of area and if a baby a child is talking on the mobile phone so you can see the five-year-old baby means the redness of the area how it is affecting to the human health how it is affecting to the our children's health so let's discuss it scientifically what is the thing so the we will discuss two three things medical things that is related and uh, we will discuss how em field is related to this one so this is a very popular research several times have been uh, cited by icmr also so i have taken this uh, research and i am again citing it so there is a endothelical cells endothelical cells are presented in our brain so what it does so please read with me in this image damage what the damage occurs endothelical cells stretched after one hour's exposure to mobile phone radiation and what was the parameters two watts per kg of tissues means uh, that was the amount of power that was exposed to the one hours so at that time after that time this endothelical cells will be stretched and means we can say it will not function properly and if it will be stressed or if it will be affected by the mobile radiation or the electromagnetic field radiation what will happen so now read this line microwave trigger changes to the protein structure in the endothelical cells to allowing toxin to enter the brain actually what is happening here there are several type of blood brain barriers which stop which are the barrier which are not allowing to enter all the things available in the blood they are stopping them to enter inside the brain but when this endothelical cells is stressed so it allows some toxin to enter into the brain and if toxin is entering into the brain it will cause some type of cancer some type of so i have shown here brain tumor and brain cancer so that toxin will be stored time to time time to time time to time and brain tumor will be resulted so you can see how it is affecting so you can see here this is the lower part this section is the lower part of this image so this is uh, this part is shown here so you can see capillaries walls compressed only one layer of very thin endothelical cells and blood brain barrier so here it is written i'm again reading it microwave trigger changes to protein structure in endothelical cells allowing toxins to enter brain so now i will show you how the clotting uh, will become and uh, that cancer is happening so i have taken this research from here you can see here that is the reference point so several uh, illness several diseases may be caused so blood brain carrier will be breakdown breakdown of blood brain carrier will happen increased risk of eye cancers ear tumor and other type of cancers related to your several glands so i will also discuss how uh, em wave affects your glands so now uh, there are two other major things one is the hypothalamus and second one is the pituitary gland so this section you can see here this one this blue part is your hypothalamus and this is your pituitary gland so first of all 
pituitary you can see pituitary gland is connected to your eyesight so if it will be affected then your eyesight will be lost and you can see various glands are connected with this pituitary gland this is a master gland actually and uh, which orders to several gland means thyroid is also connected to it and uh, several other glands are also connected to this pituitary gland and uh, you can say this is the master gland which uh, uh, orders to generate several type of hormones to other glands so and what is this hypothalamus hypothalamus regulates the temperature in our body means it regulates the body temperature and uh, you can read here the controlling uh, these two things controlling the thirst hunger and other uh, homeostatic symptoms means uh, your pituitary gland also uh, also control your interest in several activities so i have discussed various uh, activities like uh, sadness and uh, unwillingness to do the activities so such type of things uh, uh, all times you are feeling dizziness irritations so it is also related to this so what happened this hypothalamus uh, is basically related to the temperature so the blood temperature is 30 degree centigrade so there should be no mismatch there should be no mismatch between the brain temperature and the, your blood temperature so if you are using a mobile phone it is concentrating the energy it is concentrating the energy near to your brain so what happens so it is the study so i think in next slide so uh, in maybe uh, further slides there will be a study so if uh, there is a study if you are uh, putting 0.5 milliwatt per kg power uh, to the uh, to your uh, head and uh, you are using a phone with that power so it may increase uh, 0.2 centigrade temperature Th there may be a difference of 0.2 centigrade uh, within the brain temperature and the uh, blood temperature so if you are using a mobile phone for hours for many hours so you can see what would be the temperature effect and there is a big temperature defect then there will be a breakdown of the hypothalamus regulatory I mean it will not work regularly it will not work properly and we have also seen the uh, due to this temperature effect and due to this endothelical cells breakage <clears throat> toxin is entering so here you can see here in this figure you can see due to that toxin and this temperature difference this tumor this tumor is there so that is the brain tumor and the advanced stage of this brain tumor is like a cancer cancer brain tumor that that is the reason so that is the main reason scientists have discovered this thing and they have proved in various literature if you will google it just type the radiation effect on our brain brain tumor due to the uh, due to use of mobile phone electromagnetic field so various research various articles what various uh, figures are available on the net you can search it so uh, what are the symptoms if uh, the hypothalamus starts to um, behave abnormally so the symptoms may be fatigue you will feel fatigue weakness uh, weight loss will be there you will lose your weight apparently and uh, lack of interest in activities so i was talking about this one lack of interest in activities there will be various activities and uh, you won't feel easy you won't feel easy you will feeling lacking of interest in these activities and causing vision change hearing problems weakness in the face tongue neck shoulder problem so that are various problems for this one so next problem is so what we do uh, with the mobile either we use it here or we put it in pocket so i'm not going in detail for this one but this is causing for the infertility both the graphs i will share this slides also so both the graphs are going for the infertility so you can see here hypothalamus is related and this graph is going there for the infertility and your testis problem will also be there and this graph is also going for the infertility so infertility in men is causing just uh, by just using this mobile phone so don't use in 
means uh, excessiveness is dangerous so next part is vision loss so i have already discussed about the pituitary gland and uh, the connection of this to the eyesight and you can see this will uh, harmful for your vision also so there are several things uh, with your brain with your heart you can see fatigue burning near ear headache numbness tingling and uh, loss of concentration dna changes and other sperm count uh, heart rate blood pressure several things will be there by using your mobile phone so there are several problems listed here so you can see vision loss may be there hearing loss and pain hearing loss and pain so in these figures you can see hearing loss and pain near the ear so this problem is the very common problems many of the people are uh, reporting for this problem headache you can see headache is there insomnia you are awaking till night till 4 pm muscle pain several type of muscle pains may be there so you can understand it like this uh, if you are straight forward so your head is providing offering 5 kg weight on uh, <clears throat> and if you are tilted at 30 degree then weight will be 12.2 kg and if you are at the 45 degree the weight will be 22.2 kg and if you are at 60 degree angle then 27.2 kg weight will be offered by your head so you can see what will happen neck pain muscle pain will be there okay and there are several things so you can see wrist pain is there so there are uh, many new diseases like cell phone elbow that is causing your pain you can see here and it is just of this posture texting thumb we are using this phone like this so texting thumb is again a problem so golfer elbow problem is also there if you are not you typing only and you are holding the phone so you may have this problem tennis elbow problem is also occurring due to this uh, use of mobile phone and this tennis elbow uh, we uh, <laughs> we can remember it by the name of sachin tendulkar so he was playing cricket but uh, several people are playing with phone so you can see cell phone elbow or tennis elbow means nowadays we are uh, calling this tennis elbow as the cell phone elbow new name has been so uh, muscle pain you can see here texting thumb problem may create uh, create like this ye problem and uh, uptight for shoulders maybe sometime you will have pain in such area and you may have pain in your shoulder rounded lower back problem rounded shoulders problem rounded upper back problem so you can see all these things are happening due to the you excessive use of mobile phone that is the radiation criteria you can estimate what is the condition when you are in market everyone is holding phone and uh, some of us are holding two three phones so how much dangerous it is you can estimate so there are special indications for especially for pregnant women because this is more dangerous for the pregnant women also so these are some causal signs for the pregnant women so if we are seeing such signs so a pregnant woman should not enter in those areas so you can see here these photographs are promoted by some commercial company i don't know the name of that company but you may assume if some commercial company is investing in some product so that company should look that company have look uh, about the market value of that product uh, only then he will invest and only then that company will invest so there is a big scope that's why they are making the product but 
uh, I'm not uh, talking about any product, but I'm talking about the dangerousness of the scenario. This scenario is very dangerous. We are using, if uh, we are having a pregnant lady in our home, so we should be more conscious. They should not use the mobile phone. They should not use tablet and other things. So that is the most dangerous situation. So now let's discuss some precautions measures. What precautions we can take? Uh, let's discuss for reducing the EMF. So before starting the precautions, I would like to quote a quote by Swami Vivekananda. No one can teach anybody. It's you who can awake yourself. So it's only you, uh, you will listen the lecture. You, if you will not take anything, if you will not awake, then no one can teach anyone. So let's hope uh, my lecture will be helpful up to some extent to you. So that are the social effects of the mobile. Our family is sitting there. Every person is using phone, ch children, are using phone, husband and wife having separate phone. This is the second figure. They are having a festival. All are busy with their own phone, mobiles. They are not enjoying the moment. They are using their phone. So that is the culture nowadays. This is again a picture. Family is sitting on the breakfast table and everyone is using busy on phone, laptop, and they are not taking even a breakfast seriously. So that is the situation. It is a more dangerous situation. That is a pregnant lady who is using two phones. And that is a very dangerous situation. I need not to speak any word about this situation, but you can estimate the thing. That is the social effect. Husband and wife both are using the mobile phones. Children's children having mobile phones, all are engaged with the mobile phone they are not playing with each other even this situation is also painful these two childs are in playground they are not playing they are using the mobile phone they are playing on the mobile phone this is the most dangerous situation they are not playing in the park again most to most dangerous situation mother is showing mobile to her infant means I think uh, I have taken these figures from some reference so I have mentioned these references also but this is the condition of each home of our families also so we should not do this this is very very harmful this is very very harmful this is our condition nowadays we are bounded by several gadgets. We are using several number of gadgets. This is the condition I have talked about. This is the radiations which are available in our home. So what are the precautions? How we should minimize, how we should suppress the EMF available in our home? So uh, I have listed several advices. So it is up to you whether you follow or you're not. So uh, don't talk too much on phone even though it is very hard for few people, but don't talk. Talk on a speaker mode or use headphones. While uh, talking on the phone, just use the speaker. If you will put your phone near to your ear, that radiation will be higher. The concentration of energy, as I have shown you in the uh, photograph, in the um, animation uh, that, uh, that was showing a paper is burning with the magnifying glass. So that is like that. So if you will put uh, on speaker mode then talk and don't talk too much one to two minutes five minutes talk is more than enough because you should think you should think tech technology was developed for some reason and we should use that technology only for reason only for the same reason if we will use extensively that technology that technology will uh, will be dangerous to you avoid long long call conversations don't keep electronic gadget all time near to you if you are bounded with the all time gadgets you are having your gadgets on your bed then that is very dangerous situation don't use too many electronic gadgets several gadgets or several technology were invented for the needy persons means suppose uh, alexa I, I may take the name of alexa alexa 
can you do that thing alexa can you do that thing so alexa i think i hope alexa is made for the divyang old people who can't move properly but a 20 year old boy is using alexa why he can't uh, walk for four to five feet to switch on or switch off uh, the keys or uh, anything else to open the door or anything else this is a very painful situation don't use technology option they invented for needy so please sense the need of the technology and every technology is not for you it is for someone spacer if you are in that category then use that technology otherwise don't use the electronic gadget too much so few more uh, suggestions are there make your home emf free fix your family hours suppose you are going at 7 pm so fix your family hours switch off your phone uh, only one phone in a family is sufficient i think uh, if uh, due to some emergency reasons uh, you can use one phone and uh, that number will be shared with your close ones and uh, other phones uh, means uh, we are having approximately four to five phones minimum in a family so turn off all other phones because uh, silenting not picking the phone uh, is not uh, will not work because if you are having a phone on silent mode it is continuously receiving or radiating the emf signals so put it on the switch off mode turn it switch off okay say no to mobile addiction mobile addiction should not be there turn off wifi data during family hours family hours fix your family hours it may be from 8 pm to uh, 8 am it may be from 9 pm to 9 am or 7 am it uh, may be 10 hours it may be 8 hours it may be sleep, sleeping hours but turn off your maximum electronic gadgets during that family hours fixed time to check emails or whatsapp because that is the addiction type of addiction means uh, several people are having addiction they are not having any ping on their mobile phone but uh, they are uh, checking their mobile phone again and again whether there will be a mail so what you can do your office is starting from 10 am so you can fix some time let uh, you will check uh, your emails or whatsapp at 11 am after 2 hours you may check it again if there will be a email then you will you will uh, take it otherwise there is no problem so uh, you you can schedule you you should schedule your uh, daily routine like this in some manner because uh, you need to suppress the use of these electronic gadgets during 7 8 7 during your family hours keep only one mobile phone on in whole com- whole family for the emergency call turn off all other phones switch off in home keep your phone away from you no phone in bedroom means don't put your phones along with you if there will be a call there will be a message it will ring so you can take it take that call there is no need to uh, put your phone all time in your pocket close to you you if you are in bedroom then you can place it in the kitchen in the bedroom in the uh, not in the bedroom in the living room or in the other rooms if there will be a call it will ring and you can take it so no need to uh, place it along with you all time so few figures i have searched for you so this is like a slow poison for you emf uh, electromagnetic field is like a slow poison for you are emf disturbing your sleep you need to find the answer yes or no so is your home emf level high review and reduce your exposure what the equipments you are using in your home so you need to review and you need to suppress their use and you need to turn off those equipments for several hours if they are not in use wifi is on for many hours so what is the need please turn off the wifi while sleeping please turn off the wifi when you are not online when you not uh, uh, no need to be access the internet so please turn off it so how to reduce emf in your bedroom use alarm clock don't use phone don't allow phone inside your bedroom no wifi router in bedroom no mobile in bedroom no television in bedroom turn off wifi 
data electronic devices during night use minimum and required required is the main thing required electronic gadgets turn off electronic devices when not in use so you should use minimum electronic devices and when not in use turn off it complete turn off should be there in sleep mode several devices are in sleep mode what we do with our laptop we put it in the sleep mode so it also radiates in sleep mode so please switch off turn off start to use alarm clock again you should use alarm clock in the morning for because we are using mobile phones for alarm so please use alarm clock stop using your phone in bed this is the very bad habit commonly seen in several families and uh, we go to bed and we start to use the phone for hours and that is the most a uh, requested message request this is my humble request to all of you keep all phones of your family members switch off during night only one phone may be available for the emergency case this is the scenario please think for your child please think for your uh, old parents please think for your uh, ladies who are pregnant of your family of your neighborhood please think for that wifi is a silent killer so you can see wifi wifi is a very dangerous so you should uh, turn off it when it is not in use so there are two type of addiction actually so that is tech addiction is there and internet addiction is there lots of suggestions are there on the internet addiction but tech addiction is also there so it bound us how to beat a tech addiction so there are several uh suggestions but it is up to you uh, it is up to you uh, how you will follow them so that is you need to know who is really addicting you of technology so it's only you if you will see if you will go to find who is addicting you so it's you only so these are the technology addiction how to avoid the technology addiction because we are going in this field we are addicting of the technology so i have written several points what if if you will run 2.1 km or 1.9 km instead of 2.0 km we we keep the step count you can estimate the range uh, of 2 km 5 km if someone is uh, if you are walking uh, higher or lower then there, there is no no matter don't use step counter electronic devices in park while walking running second what if if you walk four five steps to turn on off home appliances let the needy the young old ill persons use this technology while sleeping you don't see your phone keep your phone off during night because you are not going to wake and see the phone only one phone in the family should be on for an emergency what if if you will not see your notification on your wrist don't use smart watches use less number of technology less number of electronic gadget use medical bands for monitoring your bp instead of smart watch because smart watch have many many functions so uh, every function is related to a particular frequency so you can use uh, medical bands are also there which will provide you only the bp or the particular uh, particular parameter which you need to monitor so for monitoring your bp or other things you need to wear such type of medical bands not the smart watch because it has it is having excessive number of applications which is creating uh, extra frequencies which is creating extra emf near to you what if if you will keep only the bank one banking app uh, in your mobile for transacting in emergency so we are we are having uh, five or 10 bank accounts what is the need for keeping all the mobile apps in your mobile you can access the internet banking through your laptop so your exposure to the emf will be reduced for the emergency transactions you can use single app play physical game instead of video games spend time with your family talk with them play with them 
So that, has, that are some of my suggestions. You can see this picture. That is our current situation. We are in a cage. And this is the explanation by a psychologist. If you have intense feeling, because we are having intense feeling of guilt or pleasure when we are on a screen. So we are driven by the screen. So that is uh, our uh, mental situations start from there because uh, we are not reacting like this. So internet addictions disorder is also next type of addiction is there. So how to avoid internet? So there are several suggestions. There are several suggestions given by several experts. So I will list them. Uh, fix a time to see your mails. You may fix it two, three times in a day or as per your requirement or as per your job. Check your mail during the stipulated time period only. Keep time. Keep minimum apps in your mobile. No need to uh, put many, many applications in your mobile. So it will take your time. Develop a hobby and uh, give a time to your hobby don't take too much pictures don't take too much pictures when visiting sightseeing uh, or to any place try to capture your moments in your memories not in camera so if you are having some memories then you will willing to visit that place next time so i have visited and one and that was my best memory experience and so i should plan to another time so please take the minimum pictures only if you are visiting some place and you are all time engaged to taking the pictures making the videos recording the videos and you are not enjoying that moment you are not enjoying with your family you are not playing with your kids so that is a very um, critical situation keep something personal don't need to share all the personal things on the social media so something personal should be there no need to share all the things don't go for the um, tracking of likes comments how many comments how many likes so you need to stop these activities live with your family because uh, these all things are making your higher exposure so there are some uh, advices from my side so the main thing is offline is the new luxury so you should try to live this luxury life for some time, for one hour, for two hours, you should start to be offline. So it will reduce your EMF exposure. You turn off your mobile for some time. So these are my references. And this is my thank you uh, for listening to me essentially. And take time to be offline. And especially, I mentioned two email IDs here. That is contact underscore me at my dot office meet underscore me at uh, at the rate my dot home so you can meet me at my home or my office and uh, avoid the emailing avoid the phone calls use minimum phone calls minimum phones minimum technical gadgets and always remember the technology is not for everyone use only that technology which was invented which was made for your requirement every technology is not for you so thank you very much thank you